Secretary uh, Pompeo's uh, bombastic comments uh, are nothing but uh, uh, ginning up uh, uh, war uh, rhetoric. Uh, this is a neocon uh, playbook to uh, go around the globe uh, in order to gin up a false narrative uh, to uh, uh, attempt to stir up uh, some hysteria and to gin up the neocon and uh, Donald Trump base uh, to push false narratives that Iran is uh, endangering the Middle East oil supply, that Iran is a rogue state, all of the buzzwords that the United States has used when it has attempted uh, to uh, either militarily engage in aggression or, as has been the case since the 1979 Islamic Revolution, engage uh, in economic uh, terrorism through sanctions and attempted economic isolation. We've seen the same playbook used against Libya, against uh, Syria, and has been used against uh, uh, Iran and was used in the run-up to uh, uh, the uh, war against uh, Iraq. And uh, so this is more of the same, uh, no doubt, uh, that the United States administration is getting its war marching orders from Tel Aviv. Tel Aviv uses the exact same rhetoric versus uh, Iran. Uh, there is no truth uh, to it at all. Iran entered into a major uh, nuclear deal uh, with uh, multiple nations. Uh, every nation has agreed uh, that Iran has maintained compliance with that uh, treaty. It was the United States that broke the treaty and left uh, the treaty, and now is accusing Iran of, of violations. It's very interesting. Of course, the United States has a history of, of violating uh, treaties, you, you know, beginning with the uh, indigenous Native Americans. Uh, the United States signed many treaties with them, broke every single one, and has violated treaties throughout its history. It's interesting that uh, there is word in Arab media that Pompeo, while issuing his bombastic war rhetoric, has uh, or may have asked Iraq to be an intermediary between the United States uh, and Iran, if that is true, it would be interesting to see if that is, one, uh, a good faith effort to tone down the situation, or if it's in uh, response to President Rouhani's declaration that Iran would be uh, uh, withdrawing from portions of the Iran nuclear deal, not all. Uh, it could be a situation where the United States was engaging in a international game of geopolitical poker, and Iran called the United States bluff, and now the United States really has nothing in its hand of cards and is now looking for a back-channel secret way to try to save face because there is no, uh, there is no desire in the United States, there is no support in the United States, not even in Donald Trump's political base uh, to engage in a war for greater Israel against Iran. So it appears that if that is true, that uh, Pompeo, why uh, engaging in bombastic war rhetoric, is asking uh, Iraq to intercede, it appears that the United States is looking for a way to back off uh, from its uh, bombastic and intellectually dishonest statements.